In September 2018, Adam and I traveled to Ilion, New York to tour Remington's oldest manufacturing facility. That's the home of Remington. Everyone knows of Ilion. It sits up on the shores of the Mohawk River, the shores of the Erie Canal. We went ostensibly to check out componentry that would be included in our rifle. But really what we were treated to was a behind the scenes look at the Remington manufacturing process. We saw product go from bare steel to completely manufactured product. Remington has been in the business for more than 200 years and the number of employees who have followed in the footsteps of their relatives to produce Remington guns is extraordinary. We quickly realized that the Illion factory is full of individuals with a long heritage of working for Remington. They take great pride in the firearms they produce because they're hunters and shooters just like us. I'm a fourth generation Remington employee going back to my great great grandfather in the early 1900s. And to understand Remington's importance to the local economy, the local Mohawk Valley and Ilion itself, is to understand that this was the place to work. This has provided employment for hundreds of thousands of folks over the years. And with that was an intense amount of pride. If you talk to any Remington worker, they had an incredible amount of pride in the workmanship and creating these firearms. And it, it, it is personal. I've been at this plant 20, 25 years, working 26 years. I've worked on every process, on every component for the Model 700 in those 25 years, and still do. One of the things that I really enjoy about working in this facility is one thing, it's really cool to cut metal, you know. Another thing, that metal's going into a gun. That's so double cool. The other thing that's really neat about the people I work with and the environment that we have, they're just like me. You know, we'll spend 50 hours a week in here working in the plant. We'll spend 20 hours a week and our vacation outside using our product that they made right here, that they're proud of, that we enjoy to use. My name is Brian Harper, and I've worked for Remington for 23 years. Being an avid outdoorsman, it only makes sense, I guess, to try to go to work for a gun company or something in the outdoor field. My grandfather, Willard Harper, lived near the valley, worked here for a number of years before and after World War II. We used to have a family hunting camp in the Adirondacks, and we were there every weekend and uh, learned a lot from him. My name is Brad Harper, and I've been here 14 years. I proof, test, and target pretty much all around. Mostly 700s though. My favorite 700 is probably the 700 BDL. Best deer I've ever shot was down south, southern tier season. I was just sitting there, I just checked my, my phone for uh, the time and a nice eight point come walking through. I mean, I really didn't expect it and it was probably, probably the best memory that I had with the 700. I am proud to say that I work for Remington. I've always thought that Remington were the best rifles on the market. My father bought me a 700 six millimeter mag when I was 12 years old, when I first started to hunt. So that, that got me hooked. <laughs> when we celebrated our 200th anniversary in 2016, it was noted that Remington Arms in this location in Ilion is the longest continuously operating manufacturing facility in the United States and the key there is manufacturing. Once we came down to this site in 1828 and started in 1816, we have never moved and we've never closed. There is some Ilian Remington history that still exists. A lifelet's house uh, up on Beringer Road exists and then that parcel of land extended all the way down to the Ilian Gorge. You'll hear uh, a lot of references to the original forge in the gorge, and that what that refers to is the blacksmith shop where he made his first barrels. The, the location there was a great distance from the farmhouse, but he utilized the water power of Steele's Creek that ran through the gorge to power his blacksmith shop. He worked with his father there and then uh, eventually took over the business and then eventually moved it down to the present site where it is today. And that move was done in 1828 from the gorge.
My grandfather um, worked for Remington for 51 years. I started 25 years ago, uh, back in 1994. The true dedication of the employees in a corporation that has manufactured firearms for 202 years, that dedication year over year is so critical to not only the 700, but all the firearms that we manufacture here. Uh, the pride, the precision that all levels of this organization put into our firearms is second to none. I'd be hard pressed to think that anybody puts the pride, precision, and has the overall dedication of our Remington employees. The Model 700 is etched into Remington history, and by default it's etched into American history. It was introduced in 1962, and ever since it has become America's most popular bolt-action rifle. Much like the employees who have carried on the tradition of their families in the manufacturing line, the Model 700 represents a gun that to this day remains relevant. Its manufacture continues to imbue Remington history with a tried, proven platform. American Hunter editors have tested a pile of Model 700s over the years. We get letters from readers about their favorite 700s in the game that they've bagged with them all the time. There was no doubt after talking to the Remington staff and touring the manufacturing facility in Ilion that the Model 700 would be the basis for our rifle.